Hey there, it's Erin with Time Saving Templates and today I'm doing the first video in a series that's going to be all about addresses and locations and geo related work in your Excel spreadsheets. For today's example, I will be using some addresses that are missing a zip code and I'm going to show you how to pull in the zip code. So let me switch to my sample data. So I've pulled in a bunch of addresses and these are actually addresses of different restaurants throughout the U.S. The zip code formula, I believe it just works in the U.S., but I will be looking out for one for international codes. You'll see I have this in a Google Doc spreadsheet. Usually I am typically using Excel spreadsheets and I did, I did originally have all my sample data in this Excel spreadsheet, but I've formatted it a little bit and uploaded it into Google Drive. So if you're not familiar with doing that, you can just go to your Google Drive do a file upload and find where you saved the Excel file. And once I uploaded the Excel, it shows this way and I had to do file save as Google Sheet in order for what we're gonna do to work. So the reason I'm using Google Drive for this example is because it's easier to get that zip code because Google also owns Google Maps and there are ways to do this in Excel, but this is the way I had used previously and it worked just fine. What I'm gonna do here is see the menu at the top. I have this extensions and then go to app script. So you can name it whatever you want. I'm gonna do geo zip codes. And I have this code that I will copy and paste and put it into the comments, but I just copy and pasted it. You'll see it's looking at the maps. You know, you can kind of tell this is geometry related. I got this code from a website, which I can also reference called geographyrealm.com. So it was pretty easy to copy and paste that in and then click on save and then now i'm going to go back to my worksheet so now that i have that script in that side i should be able to use a new formula equals so i'm just going to start typing it here where i want the zip code so equals g vo to zip and then open then click on the address that is missing the zip code and then close parenthesis and it is taking a moment to load. And then there we go, we got it. And then I'm gonna drag this down. I've just got about 43 in my sample data set. Now I did see something where this said it is limited to about 300 records at once. So if you have more than 300, you may have to do them into sections. But hopefully that helps. It's a lot quicker than having to manually look up any codes. Okay, so from here, now that we have the zip code pulled in, depending on what you are using these addresses for if you need to combine the full address and zip code in one cell you could do that it's kind of the same as in the excel formula concatenate and you're just gonna concatenate will just combine the two columns together that you select i'm going to put a space in between texas and the zip code so to do that i need quotation marks space and then close quotation and then add another comma and then the zip code and then we can close it and then that way I get the full address so that is how you can get the zip code in the Google Sheet now if you prefer Excel like I do you know I would probably do use this to pull in the zip code and then download download it back to excel and maybe keep working in excel that way in the next videos we're going to look at cases where we're trying to 
determine how far this address is from another address. So with a lot of the work that and a lot of the templates that I do is for human resources and compensation related. And one of the use cases we get in compensation is when there's different salary ranges uh, based on where the employee's located. So you may need to know how far is an employee from an office, especially if there's a lot of work from home employees, you need to know how are you going to assign them to a, which um, compensation zone. And so we can look at, we can use that to determine how close they are to different salary range zones and that sort of thing. So I hope that helps. And don't forget that we do have some free resources here at Time Saving Templates. We're mostly specialized in spreadsheet templates for small businesses, human resources and compensation templates and as well as rental property management templates but if you go to timesavingtemplates.com backslash free resources you'll see we have some free options in each of these three areas so you can click on which one you're interested in for you know small business rentals or hr we have a compensation metrics cheat sheet and we also have a free guide to get you started with excel if you're just getting started so feel free to check that out and until next time don't forget i am here to help you streamline and save time when it comes to using your spreadsheets and don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you on the next video thanks